Hello my little poplings and welcome to my video. I'm your host, the Snake Girl, and this week our video is a realistic version of Marceline from Adventure Time. I'm not like, I'm not a huge Adventure Time fan. I've seen a few of the I episodes mostly because I stumbled upon one of Marceline's singing videos and I was like, hey, she looks like she has a pretty cool backstory, but I didn't feel like watching what they probably have like eight seasons or something of adventure time just to figure out what her backstory is <laughs> um i don't it's not personally something that i would choose to watch just because um it is a kids show so they can't have it be like super serious 24 7 yeah i know you know but yeah oh my gosh this was really fun this drawing took me only 33 minutes compared to if i would have done it on my computer it would have taken me like three hours i'm just gonna let you sit with that information three hours i don't okay <laughs> it takes me way too long to to do this on on my on my intuits it just way too long just way too long so yeah just i'm just gonna continue saying too long <laughs> um yeah i i personally like traditional art better because i've had a lot more practice about three or four years versus like six months on my wacom tablet <laughs> yeah so even though i can transfer my skills that I know now onto the Wacom tablet, I you, you know, you still have to like learn how to use it and get used to it and stuff like that. And I just started using a new program, so I have to get used to that too. And oh boy, it takes so long. I just want to be, draw better already. <laughs> um, I'm definitely a lot, a lot more comfortable with this art style than with like what I would normally do like for my other videos of which you have seen I'm not particularly proud of those I, I just don't feel like that art style represents me however you know I'm in between art styles with cartoon so <laughs> that's how it goes I'm a lot more comfortable with realistic which is what I'm doing now um, as you can see I kind of like draw it how I would normally do any drawing but I have a lot more graphs for her face. I have lines for where the middle of her eyes should be, her eyebrows, her lip line, um, the outside of her eyes, down the middle of her face, and a line from her ear down her neck. So I use that to help situate things and make them even and realistic because <laughs> it's a realism drawing. It would suck if it wasn't realistic. Um, I... Whew. So when I when I draw realism, I guess n normal people use like paints and stuff like that, and so they build it up with layers of colors and stuff like that. So I do the same thing, but with lead. I, you could do the same thing with charcoal. I don't have charcoal to use, so I basically just do the same thing with lead, and I blend it together with my finger because it's not paint; it doesn't just blend together. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I started drawing like that maybe six months ago, but recently I've been drawing like that more and I've just found it very comfortable, relaxing, and I'm proud of what I draw when I'm done. And I feel like that is a goal that you need to reach when you're drawing. You need to be proud of what you drew. And with the other art style that I have, I'm just not proud i just hate it so much i'm like oh i can't believe i drew this i don't want to show this to anybody but of course i filmed a video of it so uh, <laughs> it's on the internet now and that means it's there forever man so um i think yeah that's just a really important thing that you should do you should be proud you should enjoy what you're drawing when you're done with a drawing you should like it you should want to show the world and don't ever be ashamed when you're first starting drawing you have horrible anatomy i still have horrible anatomy you have but anyway when you first start drawing you have horrible anatomy your lines are shaky your colors aren't blended like 
that's just how it's gonna go but you should be proud anyway because because you're trying and you're practicing and that is what you can do and you'll get better you know if you just keep practicing that's that's what's gonna happen oh gosh but right here ready catastrophe in three two one Ooh, I hate it when that happens. It hurts. Oh, I thought that I was going to rip the paper. And I had done that a few times, but never, never that big. Oh, I hate doing that. Yeah, anyway. Oi, oi, oi. So here I'm just going in on shading the face. And uh, what I really like about just shading and make shading out of nothing is you're building facial structure out of nothing so it's just a blank flat piece of paper but you're coloring and shading and blending and drawing all these lines to make it into something and i think that is what makes art so beautiful like people need to realize it takes a lot of time effort and practice to make what they like think they should pay five dollars for and so when people are doing commissions people are like i shouldn't have to pay you but this person spent years being able to draw that good like and that could be their profession it, it would be like if some if somebody was like you should write me a song but for free so you know it's just People just don't understand that. Uh, here I'm going with the hair. I'm gonna change my topic, I'm sorry. Here I'm going in with the hair, and I just do strands. I don't really, hmm, I'm not really comfortable with how I do the hair, but it looks fine in the end, you know? It's not like, oh, that looks horrible. Uh, Marceline has these little marks from a, like, vampire bite on her neck. So I decided to draw those because otherwise, how else would you know it's Marceline? Um, for this, for this, because it's winter, I decided to draw her in her long sleeve shirt that's it has red and black stripes. And so when I shaded it, I tried to make the red part lighter and the black part darker, but I'm not quite sure how well I did at that. At the moment, I am drawing the eyes, and I'm. I love drawing realistic eyes. I'm pretty bad at it, but I love it because they're always large. When I draw realism, I don't do it small because realism requires many details. And if you do it small, you're not going to be able to get those details. And I personally think that when you draw small, it may it leaves more room for errors. It, it, you can like you can hide your errors in a small drawing because you're like, oh, well, it's fuzzy, um, or it just, I don't know, you, yeah, you can just hide your errors in a small drawing, so that's why I personally like to draw on a bigger canvas. This is a 9 by 11 piece of paper, I believe, it's just, it's just printer paper, um, I, my notebook is full, so I, I just decided to use printer paper. Uh, here I'm going in, in with the shirt, and I'm just drawing all the different creases in a shirt. Uh, at first, when you first like start drawing clothing, you either draw too many creases or you draw it like it's skin. And it's like, mm, that's not the way clothing works. So when you're drawing realistic, you have to like learn where the creases would go. And um, you have to figure out how the shadows and how the light would reflect on the shirt. Um, and I hope that I did that well. You let me know in the comments, you know? Let me know in the comments if you think that I did that well, you know? Okay, so <laughs> here I'm just darkening the black stripe, trying to make it darker than the red part because, you know, it's not actually colored. It's just shaded. And I think I made it dark enough. But anyway, guys, this video is coming to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you made it this far. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, this was a longer video, but I didn't feel like speeding it up four times fast because it just looked wrong. So thank you for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed your time as well as I did.
Have a lovely day, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Comment below what you'd like to see and what you think I should talk about. Bye.